back to that dad guy. It's January 6, 2023. And for some, this has been your last week of vacation. Everything goes back to routine next week. I know for me, I've been back to work, but uh, next week will be the first full week I'll have to work in uh, a few weeks now. So uh, yeah, I have to do five days a week. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, well, um, yeah. Ari goes back to school next week. Day has already flown back to Montreal, back to university, and uh, getting ready for her courses to start back up as well. So our vacation is coming to an end. Uh, Christmas around here, all the decorations are put away. The tree has uh, been chopped up and put out back to be used in the fire pit uh, in the summer. Not really looking all that wintry up there. Look at the back deck. There is no snow on it. There's just little clumps of snow outside where you know, the plow has gone by and put a mound. It hasn't fully melted off. It's very strange to have, you know, I'm in a t-shirt. It's mild out still. It might be uh, zero or one degrees today. I mean, not normally you're going to be walking outside in that kind of temperature, but you don't need a big winter jacket and three or four layers of clothing. We're not minus 30 or anything like that. So very strange. Uh, the World Junior Championship, which was held here in Moncton and in Halifax, uh, came to a conclusion yesterday. Canada came out on top. Yay! We got gold. Um, we beat uh, Czechia in overtime, 3-2. to two, So it became a nail-biter. It was 2-0 uh, for Canada going into the third. Uh, but uh, Czechia fought back hard and uh, tied it up, taking it to overtime. But uh, Canada came up victorious. So that's great. Uh, U.S. finished with the bronze over Sweden, also in overtime. Uh, that was an 8-7 game, so really high scoring game, not usually like that, but uh, congratulations to all the teams that came, uh, participated, um, Moncton and uh, Halifax really enjoyed hosting, hopefully we'll get to host again, and uh, for any of you that got a chance to get out to see the games, uh, I think everybody has been very pleased with it. Attendance was high. All the activities that were going on around the cities were good. The uh, restaurants and uh, hotels were happy to have all these extra people coming to town. So, yeah, way good on Moncton, good on Halifax for hosting short notice. All right, that's not why you're tuning in. It's mail week. It's Friday. So we have all this to go through. Um, four days worth of mail. Didn't have any officials come through uh, this week. I think only had one last week. So... They must be all coming in a big bunch at one point in time. But let's show you what I did get from friends. So this is first one is a Christmas card. Uh, it comes from Norway, it comes from Skyestia. Uh, she's originally from Lithuania, but she was visiting her mother. So she sent me a card while she was away. And there is the Norwegian stamp. And we got some washi tape there on the bottom. Well, thank you so much for that. Uh, on that same note, I think last week I talked about a parcel that I had going to her in Lithuania and uh, it seemed to have gotten lost because it's been four months. It hasn't reached its destination. Well, it's finally reached its destination. So as I've been preaching all along, patience, 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 um, they'll get there eventually. So I'm glad that it finally did get there. All right. My next card comes from Bex in the UK. This is a postcard of where she lives. And a nice beach, nice old uh, stone wall, and the buildings right up against the waterline. Um, very European. I say that because a lot of our coastal towns, the beach is there, and then there's a way back, and then the houses are built further away. Um, you don't normally see them right on the waterfront like that. And then on the back, Bex is decorated with beautiful with washi tape and her uh, wax seal in there too which I notice her wax seal changes. She has different images that she can uh, put in there. So that's great. Um, like I said, I'm still thinking about it. I want to get it done. All right, so thank you, Bex. This next card comes from Jessie in Puerto Rico. She makes her own cards. And this is a lovely Christmas Happy New Year card that she's created for me. Uh, I really like the idea of this. When she mailed it, it was the 22nd of December. That's my wedding anniversary. And uh, there are the nice U.S. stamps that she's got on there with the elves and the stocking. So thank you, Jessie, for that card. Um, if you're ever looking for how she does these things and how she creates, she's got a video. I'll put a link in the video for um, her YouTube channel, and you can see some of the things that she does. So thank you, Jessie. All right, this next card comes from Media in Finland. And at the time she sent this, she was in Estonia. So... We have that beautiful Estonian stamp on the back. 
And I really like the mailboxes with the snow on top. Um, yeah, this one was also sent on the 22nd of December. She wrote it on the 18th, but I can see the postmark says that it uh, went through the postal system on the 22nd. So thank you, Media, for that. All right. This next card, another Christmas card. This comes from Yulia in Russia. She sent it on November the 16th. So it took a little while to reach me, almost two months to get here. But it doesn't matter. It's great. Whenever it arrives, she said, here's a green tree for you. So if you watch my video, you can see that our family uses a birch tree, not a green tree for Christmas. A little bit different. So uh, thank you for the green tree and the washi and you know, the stockings held with care at the top. And look at those stamps, the woodpeckers. Very nice. So thank you, Yulia, for that card. All right, this next card comes from Lewis, who's normally in Dubai, but when he sent this, he was in France. There's the French stamp. So over the Christmas break, he had a chance to do a little bit of traveling and see relatives in different places. And uh, one of the stops along the way was France. Normally you would see washi tape and beautiful decorations everywhere. He put one sticker on there. Uh, he's away from his house, so he's away from his supplies for decorating. So I really appreciate that he sent me a card regardless of not having washi tape on it. I don't need all the extra decorations, but I do love getting cards and uh, stamps from different countries. So thank you very much, Lewis. All right, here's the next card. It is a blue cat card. Cat delivering the mail with having some dogs maybe helping out there along the way. Winter time, so he's got his skis on. This one comes from Sam in the United States. Sometimes she goes by Monster, so or Sam in the Woods, if you're looking her up. Uh, she does great work as well. Very creative. There are the stamps from the U.S. All sorts of stickers and things around. So thank you, Sam for another holiday card and for the cool blue card, uh, blue, blue cat card. All right, so this next envelope just arrived today. This is from Linda. Uh, Linda said that she sent it, she's in uh, the Netherlands, or in Netherlands. Um, she goes by postcards and paper crafts. So if you're looking her up, that's how you find her on um, Instagram. And she does lots of creative things. She's been very good to me over the, the time that I've been doing YouTube videos and reaching out. She created this card. Nice mailbox scene with the packages all there. There's some snow down below. And then it's just a message and washi tape inside. The wet message is for me. So I will leave that as is. But thank you, Linda. And there are the stamps. Thank you so much. She said she sent that on um, December the 20th and it arrived today. So Pretty happy about that, good timing. The last thing I have comes from Steffi in Germany. There are the stamps, a nice envelope. Open up and have a look, see what's inside. So the first thing I see from the German post office is this first day issue tractors. It's massive, way bigger than any first day covers that we issue here. It got a little beat up in the mail, unfortunately. But what I like about the German ones, they put information on the inside. So they've got like a, a card that goes actually in the envelope, where in Canada, we use the envelope and the back is all the information about the, uh, the stamps. So they actually put them inside. That's cool, you can see the cancellation mark. So she sent that, and then she sent this envelope. Inside said envelope, there it is. These two stamps, the same stamp twice. Focusing very well. Oh, there's another first day cover. This one is different vehicles. You got the VW van there. And then it looks like a fire truck, maybe two fire trucks. Yep. So these are emergency vehicles. I'm guessing the VW van, or the Volkswagen van, is also an emergency vehicle. You can see the number to call is 112 
In Canada, the number to call is 911. So in different countries, different emergency numbers. All right. Then she sent this card of Santa using a Dutch post office truck to get through the snow. And when she wasn't done, she sent me a bunch of blank postcards. Look at this one, very beautiful. The birds and comparison, it is huge. So we have that one, really nice. We have this postcard of Montreal, all the way from Germany. Maybe I should write on this and send it to my daughter in Montreal. And there's this one of Montreal. And then we have this snowman. We've got a few Christmas ones for next year. We have these beautiful daisies. And finally, we have these hearts. Now, I can see me using this card coming up soon. Valentine's Day is uh, just over a month away. So I don't really have many Valentine's cards, so that might be a good one to use to send off as a Valentine's card. So let me put all this stuff back in the envelope for right now so it doesn't get messed up at all. And we'll put these loose stamps in there as well. And then they can go back in this envelope with this first day issue. And they're well protected now. So thank you, Steffi, for all the nice gifts there. Um, it's their Christmas gifts that have arrived just after. I really appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate all the swaps from all my friends and uh, all the new people that are kind of reaching out through YouTube that have seen my uh, P.O. Box address that's uh, listed in all these videos. People are just uh, writing and sending in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for putting out videos. I really appreciate it. That's all I've got for today. That's a, a big day going on. Tomorrow is That Dad Guy Answers, so make sure you get your questions in for the last video I did on That Dad Guy Answers so I have some things to get up to talk about. Um, what's also going on this weekend is my sister and her family are up for the weekend. Tomorrow we were gonna celebrate my parents' 65th wedding anniversary, but unfortunately both of them have come down with COVID. So uh, we are hoping and praying that they get better and uh, heal quickly and that we can uh, reschedule our uh, nice meal with them and have the celebration on another time. But uh, as my sister and family were uh, in town already, we're gonna get a chance to spend some time with them and enjoy. Um, and then we have other activities that are also happening over the weekend as we get ready to uh, go back to school, go back to routine and do all that sort of stuff. So I will uh, find time tomorrow to do that diet, the that, that guy answers for you, but I need to have some questions, so make sure you get those in and leave them in the comments of that dad guy answers part 47, I think it was from last week. All right, that's all I've got. Hopefully you guys have had a good week and have a magical week. Like, follow, you say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Bye.